Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Saturday, 17th of August 2024 and I've just done a video exploring a section of Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve. Now I've been here once before, a few years ago, but I don't really visit Dot Hill that often. Uh, didn't really visit visit this place uh, when I used to live in Egomery and especially don't really come by this way now I live in Dorley but today I came round and it's a good afternoon to visit uh, the local nature reserve here in Dot Hill and I've just done some well I was just about to cycle on to do some exploring when I saw this signpost I'm standing next to right now and I figured it would be a good idea to take a couple of moments to uh, check out this signpost and see what it has to say about Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve. So yeah, let's carry on. Welcome to Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve. And as you can see, uh, first and foremost, we've got a map of the area so you can have an idea of what you're going to explore as you go around here and if you've seen my other video today about Dot Hill Nature Reserve you'll know I only explored basically a small section of the area but it was a beautiful area I did walk around it was absolutely gorgeous so yeah I'll have to make time and make the effort to come back and explore some of the other places in the meantime, we're just going to have a closer look on what the information in front of us says. Designated a local nature reserve in 2016, this haven for wildlife is a large area of green open space owned by Telford and Recon Council. Although surrounded by residential areas and main roads, the reserve is the tranquil home to a diverse range of habitats and species. The LNR comprises three main areas, Dot Hill Pool, Tea Lake and Bean Hill. We hope you enjoy your visit. So, as you can see, Donoghue, Donoghue, Spinney and Bean Hill Brook. Tree planting in Donoville Spinney was initiated by the Seven Tree Trust. In a joint project in 2016, the STT and FDLNR planted over 800 trees, tree whips, to replace an area that had been damaged by fire. Bean Hill Brook flows from the Rekin to the River Turn. The area around it provides good habitat for common f for the common frog. Bean Hill comprises of open grassland and a wooded area. It's home to a variety of birds, small mammals, invertebrates and plants. The Henge provides a focal point and central place to meet. It's a canopy, uh, its canopy can be easily added when needed. The reserve attracts a large number of visitors all year round, including dog walkers, ramblers, specific interest groups and those walking to and from work or school. Between the Henge and Tea Lake is one of the areas being restored to wildflower meadows. We've got a play area, site of the uh, Dot Hill Manor and Dot Hill Port Park. Over the centuries, the reserve has been host to various fine residences, including a moated manor, landscaped gardens, man-made lakes, managed farmland, and many types of visitor. Perhaps the most important residents in this area now are the great crested newts. You've got the local primary school. Dot Hill Pool. 
Originally an ornamental pool on the estate, Dot Hill Pool is now managed by Telford Angling Association and Friends of Dot Hill LNR. Mature trees, reeds and shrubs provide good nesting conditions and habitat for wildlife. Amphibians live alongside large numbers of specimen carp and tench and resident birds like swans, coots and ducks are joined by visiting migrant birds such as grebe and Canada geese. Tea Lake was commissioned by the Forrester family. It was the major feature of seven hectares of formal gardens designed to grace their main home, Dot Hill Park, during the 17th and 18th centuries. The hillock on the east side was formed from the excavations that created the lake. From its slopes, the local people could watch competitive water sports like sculling and water jousting. Wellingtonia Ring. If you look carefully, you'll see 10 Christmas trees planted in a large circle around the field. These are Wellingtonia. During their 3,000 year lifespan, these massive redwoods can grow to a height of over 100 metres. The trunk of each tree could eventually reach 8 metres in diameter. In the same field, near the main path, is a pool at the lower end of a wetland restoration project. This is one of three small wetland areas in the reserve. So yeah, excellent. So yeah, that was a bit more information about the Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve here and yeah established in well plans plans for this place first started in 2008 and well happened well we developed even more in 2016 so yeah it'd be good it would be good for me to visit down here more often in the meantime i'm going to finish this video here thank you everyone for watching this video i do appreciate it and yeah have a good day, have a good weekend, and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.